Hey guys. Welcome. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Fantastic episode of Prop. We're finally at 300 subs. We are actually almost at 400. We're at 340 right now. I've been getting subs like crazy, which is just fucking awesome. I'm pretty sure it's due to some of you guys. But yes, later on last week I asked for a bunch of questions so I could actually do a Q&A, one that I was not expecting to actually get this many back, so that is actually kick-ass and thank you guys so much for asking me the things that you want to know. Not that all of them are completely serious, but there is some good questions to go through and I'm really happy about that. So, let's just jump right into this and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the little video. It's just a bunch of clips from all the videos that I've done. Not every single one, just uh, the ones that I thought would be appropriate to put in. But yes, we're uh, over 400, reaching almost 500. I really want to get to at least 800 or a thousand by the end of this year seeing we've been on for a year but yes let, let's just jump right on into the questions all right question number one do you think you will ever get an editor um no not really i mean i can see why the bigger youtubers do get editors just because it does take us so much time especially when you're really um scratch for time i don't really know how to put it uh but yes, like say I'm making videos, I have an hour to go to work, okay, that is enough time to maybe edit out one video, maybe, if it renders fast enough, if I can get through it fast enough, really all depends on the link, but no, not unless I got like majorly huge, then no, I want to get an editor, even if, it, even if I did get huge, I think I would rather keep doing it because, I don't know, editing is a task that I really feel proud of myself for I may not do the most crazy edits I really just edit out the stuff that doesn't need to be seen but yeah it really it's just a goal of mine it makes me feel good to see what I have just created so to answer your question short probably no I probably would not get an editor I don't think I would I don't I don't know if I'll ever be big enough to even really need an editor so no not really and question number two what made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube? Well, I gotta say, I started it um, about midway through my senior year. Uh, I was going through some really bad depression issues. I had moved a lot of school, so it's been really hard for me to actually make friends and actually not be so shy to actually talk to people. And I don't know, I've been, I just, I have a really serious love for video games and the worlds and atmospheres that they can actually bring up. And I'm seeing all these other YouTubers that are just bursting their fucking bubbles, just screaming at their screens, just having a great time. And I said, well, what the hell, why can't I do that? So basically I got myself like a $10 webcam and a $10 mic little clip on one that I actually stuck on top of a Coca-Cola bottle. And I had to put my face way up close to it, otherwise it just would not work right. And yeah, I, first game I played was um, the Pokemon 3D, and the funny thing is I really want to do reacting to some of my old videos because back then I I just did not know what I was doing. I had not found my voice yet. I was so shy. I didn't even want to like yell into the camera because, I don't know, I was just such a shy guy. But yes, I don't know. Through it all, I honestly think it has broken my bubble a little bit. It's allowed me to get my voice to actually fully out speak like I can just make a video now and just not give a fuck because I don't know I've just been doing it I have 400 videos up I'm used to it now and I think that's great and also I should probably mention uh like my friend Shannon she was also kind of a big part of it telling me that my videos were good and giving me little tips and whatnot so I wouldn't like quit because I don't know the first few videos I put out I was not very proud of I was like oh man I'm gonna suck at this, I don't even know what to talk about. But you don't need to know what you're gonna talk about. You just commentate on what you're seeing, what you're thinking, you just you just talk. And that's the basis of it. But um, what made me start YouTube? Basically, I don't know, I just love, I love doing this. I, it's a great hobby of mine, and um, I don't really know. I, can, I don't know how to answer this question better, so maybe that deserves its own separate video later on down the road when I can actually fully out write something down about why but yes so far long sh uh long short answer <laughs> there you go and question number three what is my favorite video game well that is a hard hard question by far I i'm gonna break it down between probably conquers bad fur day or la noir because i absolutely love uh noir movies and games like that like la confidential and things like that or uh what is it goodfellas goodfellas Best fucking movie ever. You guys really need to watch that. I actually want to play some Mafia 2 on this channel before the third one comes out, but we got a while before that. But um, I'm going to probably have to go with Conker's Bad Fur Day just because it's one of the first games that I've actually gotten to play. I got it when I was a really little kid. My mom thinking it was a kid's game because the little tiny squirrel. <laughs> 
How wrong was she once the fucking big breasted sunflower popped up? I mean, shit, even as a little kid, I was like, whoa! Nobody look! <laughs> I better turn this down and keep an extra eye on that. But yes, I'm definitely gonna have to go with Conker's Bed for a day, just because it really just, I don't know. I feel like it was one of the first games to really be that comedic and just outgoing like that. I don't know. Just the way they did that game, it was fantastic. So, Conker's Bad Fur Day, N64, fucking great. And question number four for the day. We got, um, why is your hair so beautiful? Well, uh... I really don't know why my hair is so beautiful, honestly. I've been working at this bitch since, like, sixth grade. I mean, I get all these waves, like, they just happen now, and they're like, I don't know, it's just been here. It just goes with the flow. Goes through the flow of life along with me. So, uh, yeah, thank you for complimenting on it. I mean, I personally think I could use a fucking haircut by now. Uh, sorry for all the swearing. I'm just, I'm really excited to be doing this video for you guys. But, yeah, I really think, I, I want to go short hair. I just don't know how to do it. Uh, which way would actually look good and not look retarded. But, uh, yes, guys, uh, my, my hair, I guess, is beautiful. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you for your question. And for the fifth question of the day, what will you do when you reach 1k and what else is to be expected from the channel? Also, you should play H1Z1 and Overwatch. Okay, I now have two Overwatch videos up, so go check those out. I do have some H1Z1 videos. They're not the best because I recorded them a long ass time ago, but they are there. I played them with just some random people I met on H1Z1. There's all sorts of funny conversations there, movie ideas, whole bunch of just... Just a bunch of silly stuff. What do I plan on doing when I reach 1k subs? I have no idea. That is looking way in the future, buddy. Like, I I don't know. I just plan on keep on doing this, making the show better, uh, increasing quality. Um, I actually do want to start some other little things like Amazon reviews where I just go find ridiculous stuff on Amazon, read the ridiculous ass comments, more narrating them, but I wasn't exactly sure how I'm to actually do that. Another one I was doing, I had a few episodes recorded, but never actually... Um, uploaded was yay or nay gaming where i went and looked for the 50 50 games on um basically steam the games that people are unsure about i would buy them show you the best prices where to get them and then i'd show you some gameplay or gameplay and we talk about the pros and cons of whether they're actually worth getting or not so those are some of the other ideas that i've been getting some other ones were uh walks with Bront, where i just go walk through the woods talk about life issues any kind of issues maybe you guys could ask me some questions to do small episodes on about that because that is one that i actually would like to be doing i actually think i would do well at that but yeah those are some other things um i have a lot of stuff that i want to do for this channel just stuff that i can't exactly do yet like i also want to do some game reviews but for me to do that i need to i need to be able to get a game and just play it just all by myself and then review it so i don't know We'll see. We'll see. Let me know down if you guys just want me to do all Let's Plays or if you wouldn't mind if I grabbed a few games by, for myself and did uh, some reviews on them because I don't know. I think that would actually be really fun for me and maybe for you guys. So let me know your feedback down below and thank you for your question. Question number six. Are you an artist? I've seen some of the drawings in the background. Yes. I would like to think of myself of an artist. I actually do have paintings and drawings all over, like those back walls back there are just completely covered in sketches and drawings and whatnot. Um, I showed them off in one of the first videos I did. I am Bronx. <laughs> yeah, I just I watched that video. It seems so cheesy, but I love it at the same time. It's when I was first starting and I was feeling really proud about what I was doing. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll do a video where we actually paint or um, either paint or draw. I don't know. I actually, my stepdad is a huge painter. Our entire house is a fucking gallery, so maybe we can get him on an episode showing us how to draw. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, I know he likes to keep his techniques to himself, which is a smart idea, but yes. Uh, I am kind of an artist. I more play guitar now. I can never really think of things to draw, so I just kind of doodle here and there. But yes, I do draw. I did draw and paint a shit ton back in the day. I will probably make another video to show you guys that kind of stuff. I actually want to do more vlog stuff soon, so... Yes, thank you for your question. What is my favorite color animal and my favorite food? Well, for color, I'm going to have to go with green or black. I really like them. I mean, obviously, I wear a lot of black in the videos. I don't know if anybody really took a notice of that. But other than that, uh, I really like me some green as well. What is my favorite kind of animal? Well, I really am um, a, a, a liger, duh. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't know what my family or favorite animal would be. Maybe a hamster, because they're pretty cool. Fucking teacup pig, those things are pretty badass as well. 
Uh, I honestly can't answer that question because I have, I have no idea. I have no idea. Dogs, cats, ferrets. Ferrets are pretty cool. I used to have some ferrets. Those things are pretty sweet. And what is my favorite food? It's got to be Thai food or Chinese food all day. I can eat that every single day. No matter how much it costs, I will fucking eat it whenever I get the chance. Thank you for your question. Thank you for your views. And for the eighth question, I want to say by Colin Fitzroy, somebody I've actually made some videos with, some Dying Light videos. Go watch those. They're actually pretty funny and interesting. We talked about the differences between America and uh, London or Britain, however you say that. I'm sorry. But yes, dude, this question is just fucking out there. I almost didn't even answer it. <laughs> but I'm going to answer it anyways. Would you rather have a dicks for fingers or two giant erect cocks for legs? I, I don't know. Like, either of them. Fucking... Just kill me, man. That sounds terrible. I guess it cocks for legs, because at least I could put some pants on and just, I don't know, deny the fact that I have dicks for legs. But with the fingers, like, you can't get around that. I mean, what am I supposed to do when, oh, wait, is that, okay, okay, it's, uh, oh, erect cocks for legs. Okay, I was going to say erect fingers. Like, that sounds horrible. Like, how am I supposed to get anything done? Even without them, dude, it would just be like putting, like, I don't even know how to explain it. You wouldn't be able to grab anything. <laughs> Thank you for your question, Cohen. I hope your channel's doing well, man. We need to do some more videos soon here. I'm sorry, I've just been super busy, so I've just been working at my stuff. But uh, thank you so much for watching and giving me a question. And question number nine for the video we got, do you sleep with the closet door open or closed? Um, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm not afraid of the dark or anything. Like, I, I, right now it's open just because it's easier to grab my clothes. I got a shit ton of coats on top of it, so it's easier just not to close it. So I guess I sleep with it open? Because if that monster's gonna be in there, I might as well see him in the act and like catch that shit on camera or something, I don't know. Thank you so much for your question. Thank you. And for the 10th question, we got what or who is your vote to win the election? How old are, okay, we're just gonna do one at a time. I really don't wanna answer this first one. Honestly, it's gonna be Bernie Sanders just cause I've done a lot of research and through the times this guy has really tried to make changes in different social problems and whatnot, but I don't wanna get too far in that. I don't know enough to actually get out a full out statement about that. So uh, yeah, uh, Bernie Sanders, close question. How old am I? I am 20 years old. I turned 20 two months ago. Um, a few of you actually donated me some money to get some games like you, Jacob Heinish. You are fucking awesome. You actually allowed me to go and buy Super Hot for us, and that game was just awesome. I really enjoyed playing that. So thank you so much, guys. But yes, uh, being 20 and doing this, I feel kind of weird. I feel like I shouldn't be playing games on YouTube. But you know what? PewDiePie is like 26. Markiplier is like 25, I think. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Jacksepticeye, I have no idea how old he is. And they all started about the age I am. So you know what? I think it's good I... I think it's a good age. It's about the age where people can actually watch you and not be like, oh, it's just some fucking kid. But yeah, I'm, I'm 20 years old. I'm two months in. It, it's it's all right. I feel I feel all this shit. Um, am I going to do a collab soon? Yes, I'm going to do a collab soon uh, with one of you viewers, which I actually want to do more of those with. So comment down below if you have a PC and uh, maybe you want to get on the show with me. I can pick us up some cheap games and we can just play them and see how that goes. Do I have a pet? Yes, I have a little Shih Tzu. It's more of the family dog. Her name is Lily. She's kind of a little bastard, but she's a pretty good dog. She really likes to sit and stare at you when you try to call her over. Like, she'll just, she'll just do that and it kind of drives me crazy. But yeah, she's, she's, she's a good dog. She's a good dog. Um, am I excited for the movie Sausage Party? Yes, I am. That is one with Seth Rogen and right. I think it looks absolutely hilarious. I love the trailer where it's just all so subtle. They're like, yeah, we're going home. We're all with our friends. And then the fucking potato starts getting peeled. He's just screaming for his life. And then it just seems so messed up. But yes. And for the final one of your question, do I, sir, like pie? Yes, everybody likes pie. Uh, pumpkin pie is probably my favorite of all. Uh, thank you for your question. Thank you for the view so much. I know you've actually been sitting on the channel for a long time now, and I deeply appreciate that. I've even seen you retweet some of my tweets, posting my videos and stuff, and that really helps the channel out. I wouldn't doubt that uh, some of my subscribers weren't from you and some of your friends, so that is awesome. And for the 11th question, I believe, uh, which is best, cookies, cake, or ice cream? And then you also said, I don't have anything original or big to ask. Haha, <laughs> sorry if it's lame. It's not lame. 
thank you so much for your question. I do appreciate it. Any question is good. I'm going to have to go with probably ice cream, but if I can pick two, I'm definitely going to be picking cake and ice cream, so I'm just going to mash those two up. I'm going to get a nice mash going. You know, just a nice mash, and then I'm just going to eat them both at the same time because it's so good like that. But yes, that's the answer to your question. Thanks so much. And for the 12th, question yes okay i had a brain fart there what are your dreams and aspirations as a gamer and as a youtuber what kind of guitar do you have there in the background i'm gonna guess you're talking about the little the little white one over there you can't really see it is an epiphone uh mostly it's just the body of an epiphone then i took a crappy little neck that i have and i painted all rasta because i was a cool kid in freshman year i thought i needed everything rasta <laughs> But no, actually, I like that little guitar. I don't really play it. It's more just for looks, but, um, yeah, it's just a nice little memory holder, I guess. And what are my aspirations as a gamer and as a YouTuber? My aspirations are is to just be able to build a community where people can talk to each other. If you're having some problems in life, uh, you can come talk to me, message me on Twitter. I will gladly try to help you get through your issues the best you can. I really appreciate that. Um, I've had my fair share of issues and friends along the way that have helped me with those. And I just know how much it means to have somebody to actually sit there and talk to you or at least just listen to what's going on in your life. And I really appreciate the people who do that. So I really want to be able to reach out for you guys. The other um, things I want to do is increase the quality. I really am saving up for a really good camera right now because right now I have just this decent ass webcam that does not look good when it's all stretched out like this. So yes, excuse the poor video quality right now. It's going to change. Just I want to get a good camera and I want to be able to actually get a good one. So I'm saving up a decent amount of money for that. And for the final question, also best of luck. I found you because of Twitter. You followed a lot of random people and you certainly talk a lot, but it is good talk. Yes, I did in the very beginning when I very first started. I followed like a thousand people. I know it's cheap, but it's just a good way to get a general group of people. I mean, I do it. I went by interest. Like I went to certain games that I liked in YouTube. I went to the YouTube page and I actually followed those people. So that just enabled me to have a small group where I can read their tweets, they can read my tweets, and yeah, it basically just grew off from that. I don't do that anymore. I don't really um, follow people anymore unless I feel like I should. And uh, it's been working for me, honestly, because now people are just following me, and that's that's actually pretty great. And yes, I know I talk a shit ton. It's just because in the videos, I feel like I need to be talking 24-7, otherwise nobody's going to want to watch that. But I'm slowly realizing as I get better and better at this, is that I really don't need to. Only when it's, like, appropriate and when, the, when there's nothing to say, don't force something to say. It's something I've really been catching myself on lately. I'm trying to fix that. But, uh, yeah, thank you for saying the talk isn't bad. I really appreciate appreciate that um so yeah guys this was the q a thank you so much for all the questions i really really appreciate it and i hope we continue to grow at the rate that we've been growing so maybe you guys can help retweet some of my tweets out and whatnot uh like and subscribe the videos is always a good thing always comment i love that i always respond to the comments i know i didn't for any of your questions so that's just because i saved them for this but yes, guys, all goes from Michigan. Have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Brown! Come on, say it with me. Just do it once. Just do it once. Brown! <laughs> oh, yes, guys. Have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you so much for all the questions. Thank you so much for the views. It means a ton to me that you guys have been doing that. Liking and commenting means a shit ton to me. But anyways, guys, have yourself a fantastic day. And I will see you on the next episode. Hopefully Undertale. I'm trying to get those back up. I know they've been delayed, but I'm working on it. But anyways, have yourself a fantastic day. See you on the next episode.